God. Oh, what's going on, fam? This is Joe from the Most Philly Gym. It's nice to see you guys again. Bet you're wondering why I'm holding this uh, toilet paper thing in my hand. Well, the answer is I don't have any Kleenexes for all the fucking Eagles fans that are crying that our season is fucking over when we control our season. <clears throat> when we're still tied for the NFC East, with a road game at Dallas. So here you go, guys. I don't want to be selfish here. So here you go, all you crybaby pussies who are throwing in the fucking towel on this team after hyping this team up in the offseason, after all the, oh, Eagles till I die, this and that and the third. Here you go. I don't want to be selfish. Here you go. Wipe your fucking nose. Wipe your fucking tears off your face because you're embarrassing yourself. Number two. Eagles fans that's been puffing their chest out and talking all this shit. Mainly about the Dallas Cowboys. Making videos about the Dallas Cowboys constantly throughout the whole offseason. Every single day. All your content is Cowboys, 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 Cowboys fucking Cowboys. Bring nothing to the table. You make the rest of us look like shit. You embarrass yourselves, and you embarrass us. And if we go to Dallas, if we go to Dallas and get our ass beat by this sorry-ass fucking team, which may happen, it's going to be because of you idiots who did all this shit since the summertime. Matter of fact, fuck the summertime since the draft. Oh, Cowboys this, Cowboys overrated, Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, making all these dumbass fucking videos constantly. Making us look like shit. And then you got the fans that aren't doing that. There's fans, there's, there's fans that are crying about this fucking season being over. Do yourself a favor. Do me a favor. Stay the fuck over there. Because I don't want you. We don't want you. We don't fucking need you. Fucking quitters. Shit. This shit drives me insane. When I see people give up. I, will, I would never fucking give up on anything in life. Or it wouldn't be where I'm at. Okay. I got kicked out when I was fucking 17 years old. I could have gave up, but I didn't fucking give up. Fucking quitting makes me sick when I see it. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's in sports, it's in life, doesn't matter. When I see a fucking quitter, it disgusts me. Fucking disgusts me. That team, that fucking secondary, these fucking corners disgusted me. And it's not because they're not good. If players are just not good players, they're just not fucking good players. But you want to know what this fucking secondary did against the Minnesota Vikings? They fucking quit. Malcolm Jenkins couldn't have said it better. This game ain't for suckers. Sidney Jones is a fucking sucker. Craig James is a fucking sucker. Rasul Douglas is a fucking sucker. And they're quitters. And they suck. Fucking quitters fans stop fucking crying stop acting like pussies have the nerve to sit back and say oh well minnesota vikings fans are bitches minnesota vikings fans are soft you guys are fucking soft you guys are fucking quitters you quit on this fucking team you've given up on the fucking season stay the fuck over there don't come back